Everybody quiet now. Now what? They said Deion Sanders didn't know what he was doing. His critics, coaches all over the country saying that this was not the right way. Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know how we do before we get started. Go ahead and do your boy a solid and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping his heat. And join the member section, man, because most all, all my videos go in the member section before they even go live. So you'll get to see them before anybody else do. You know, just a perk and being in the club. Just get on in there. But as you know, next week, we going live with this football thing. Next Thursday, it goes down. Colorado, North Dakota State University. But before we go live, we going to still keep up to date with what's going on. And Prime say he got seven or eight defensive players that's going to be drafted. In the draft next year. And you know what? Our boy at the Colorado and Scott Proctor said, y'all know he might be right. Let's check out what Scott got to say. Let's get into it. Deion Sanders says Colorado defense has seven to eight future pros. Here's who they could be. And y'all know this come up from our boy Scott Proctor all the way up in Fort Collins working for the Colorado God has always got some good stuff for us, so let's see. And I believe he might be right. It might be more than seven or eight, though. Deion Sanders has made Colorado a popular destination for NFL scouts. Representatives from at least 12 NFL teams were at former Buffalo's wide receiver Xavier Weaver's Pro Day in April and last Friday. Denver Broncos general manager George Patton and Green Bay Packers GM Brian, hell, I don't know what that is, were present at Colorado's open practice. Afterwards, Sanders reflected on the thought he had earlier in the day. I really sat in my office today and thought about the potential NFL guys, Sanders told local reporters after the open practice. I think we're looking at seven to eight guys on defense who will probably be pros by the conclusion of the season. That's not putting anything on them, and that's not lying. You know, I talk to scouts every day. A few of them are here to meet me today, and scouts are always, always at Buffalo's practice. It might sound crazy for a program that hasn't had a player drafted since 2021, to have a handful of future pros on just one side of the ball. What if Sanders is right? After all, he doesn't know a thing or two about playing defense in the NFL, which is a fact. Here's a look at who Sanders might have in mind when he thinks about the potential future pros on his defense. No, 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 no. that's not Travis, Travis, Travis Hunter. This one is a no-brainer. Hunter was recently ranked as a top three player in college football, according to a panel of ESPN experts, and named to an AP All-American first team as an all-purpose player, the two-way star and two 2023 Paul Horn Award winner, given to the most versatile player in college football, is a projected first-round NFL draft pick. After tying for the team leading interceptions, which was three, and leading the Buffaloes in pass breakups five last season. Hunter is one of the sport's most explosive stars and is a lot to hear his name called early during the two 2025 NFL draft. You got that right. The most talented two-way player of his generation, Hunter has the ability to be an All-American on either side of the ball. Hunter's ESPN ranking description says, for the Bucks to improve off their four-win season a year ago, it will be likely require a monster season for Hunter, who is almost guaranteed to leave for the NFL after the season, which is true. Now, I'm going to tell you, Mr. Transfer himself from my alma mater, Arizona State, 
Mr. B.J. Green. Green is a massive reason why Colorado defense and pass rush should be much improved in 2024. The Arizona State transfer defensive end was coached by Sanders as a youth in Dallas and has the most career quarterback pressures at 107 among active power four players, according to Pro Football Focus. Green broke out last season, setting career highs in tackles, which is 39, tackles for loss, 11.5, and sacks, 6. For the Sun Devils, Sanders believes Green not only has the NFL future, but the potential to be the first-round draft pick. His work ethic, the way he approaches and attacks the game is phenomenal, Sanders said about Green at Big 12 Media Day in July. He wants... His wants, his desires, his will. I just got to finish doing it. I just got finished doing the interview. They said you have two young men projected to probably be the top five picks. Yeah, but we want four. We want four in the first round. No, the only way that's going to happen is that we win and they're dominant. I think B.J. Green could be one of those guys, and I think he will be one of those guys because he wants it that much. Yeah, B.J. Green is a beast. I mean, just a baller. Dale Hayes. Hayes chose to spend his final year of college eligibility with Sanders after allegedly turning down a lucrative NIL offer to stay at Pitt. The top available edge in the transfer portal at the time of his commitment to Colorado played in all 12 games, 11 starts for the Panthers last season, leading the team with 10 and a half tackles for a loss to go along with those four sacks. Hayes was virtually unvulnerable at the Bucks open practice last week and is a good bet to lead Sanders' defense in sacks this fall. If that happens, he'll certainly find himself on the NFL draft boards. You don't want to lie. And that other back end that comes from Pitt, Samuel Open World. There might not be a better player on the Colorado football roster with a higher upside than Oprah Loga. The number five ranked defensive lineman in the transfer portal led Pitt in sacks last season, which was five, as a redshirt freshman and still has three years of eligibility left. Oprah Loga flashes explosiveness as a pass rusher during a one-on-one -on -one rep at last week's open practice. Y'all hear how many years of eligibility that man got left? Y'all think Prime ain't setting up for the future? Get out of here. Sanders is thankful for Pitt's head coach Pat Narduzzi developing a pair of his top defensive NF his top defenders with NFL tools. That's all right. Pat Narduzzi was talking about your game last season. We appreciate you, my boy. Thank you. I want to thank the head coach from Pittsburgh for preparing those young men for us. He did a great job, Sanders told the local media on August 9th. I love those two young men, Hayes and Okolono. They're really great players, and they're going to be pros. And next up on that uh, NFL draft list, the compliment to Travis Hunter on the other side of the field, Mr. Preston Hodge. Sanders was asked specifically about Hodge before the Colorado football coach talked about the future NFL players on his defense. He's a dog, Sanders said of Hodge last Friday. The Liberty transfer defensive back immediately cemented himself as the buff number two cornerback behind Hunter with an impressive spring. Hodge received over a 90 overall grade and a 90.4 coverage grade from PFL for the 2023 season. The senior DB is relatively undersized for an NFL corner, listed at 6 feet, 195 pounds, but his physicality and sound technique makes him an intriguing prospect. That means he get after it. This is what I keep telling y'all. This is what I keep telling y'all about this team. This team is ready. And this is what I keep telling y'all about Oklahoma State. This guy here is what hurt them. B.J. McKinney. McKinney is another transfer DB who Sanders has a high hopes for. The six foot two, 190 pound quarterback played in all 14 games for Oklahoma State in 2023, totaling five pass breakups and 38 tackles, including a career high seven in the Big 12 championship game versus Texas. He solidified his spot as Colorado's number three cornerback 
and made a leaping interception at last Friday's opening practice during the 11-on-11 period. Sanders sees first-round potential in this red shirt sophomore. <laughs> y'all are not ready. That's what I'm telling y'all. They took the best from each team when they got them. That transfer portal wouldn't jump. It was the best of the best. That's why I keep telling y'all, Oklahoma State going to be hurting this season. They ain't what everybody think they are. When we're getting ready to play somebody who has a dog out there at receiver, you know what Travis Hunter says in the back of the meeting. I got it. Sanders said to McKinney in March, I want y'all fighting over that cat. That's what gets you to the first round. That's what gets the whole family at the table at the draft. That's what I see in you. You have to see it in you, though. I can't just see it myself. You have to see it. Doggone right. You got to get it. You got to go get it. You want to be that guy? You go get it. You want to be that guy? Be a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trevor Woods. Woods is someone who would need a massive senior season to climb onto the NFL draft board. But Sanders believes the converted safety is more than capable. The Bills' third leading tackler last season with 56 total started four games at inside linebacker, including a loss to UCLA where he knocked a career-high 12 tackles after transitioning from the second day. Woods recently said that he's now up to 224 pounds, listed at 205. Trevor didn't put that beef on. And I guarantee you it ain't fat. It's all muscle. <laughs> and projected to be a key contributor on the seat, on the second level of Sanders defense this fall. The change made from safety to linebacker with Trevor. I really think this young man is going to be the next Brian Urlacher, Sanders said to Woods at the Big 12 Media Day in July. I think he's going to take a transition from safety to linebacker and be dominant. Trevor was doing his thing last year. And he part of the OBs. Y'all don't know. Trevor wasn't the one that stood up and held over when Prime said, hey, I'm bringing my luggage. Trevor said, hey, I'm in the luggage group, coach. And we're here, we're here. We're here. The thing I believe that Shago Sanders doesn't think that Sanders doesn't think his two sons on the Colorado football team are the future in, are, are future NFL players. Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders is a lot to be drafted in the first round next year of next year's NFL draft, but his brother and teammate is in a different place entirely. Despite leading the Bucks in tackles 70 and becoming the only defensive back in the country with four or more forced fumbles last season, Chicago isn't widely viewed as an NFL prospect. That could change after this season, though especially with an upgraded supporting cast around him. I don't know why they don't think Shiloh ain't the man. When he's leading the league, man, come on, dog. You got to get a man this props. With all the new players we got, even the defense, defensive linemen and linebackers, I can really play free now, Shiloh told the Colorado at Big 12 media day. I can take a proper drop, start at 15 yards, get back deep, Go get the ball, balls, and be rangy. Shiloh can go get it and completely go get it. If y'all don't think these boys ready, they ready. So y'all better get ready. And I believe they both are correct. Seven or eight, maybe more, but we'll see as the season comes to an end. But those first seven and eight, yeah, he might be right there, boy. I mean, that defense is stout. Like I said, they got all starters from other teams. They mix and match this team real well. Let's see what the cohesion like. Let's uh, I really hope Colorado sets the season on fire, ten to twelve wins, and shut everybody the hell up. Coach Prime need to go and win and that be the first African American coach to do that. We rooting for that right there. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We out. Peace.